Hi guys, welcome to another open source options video. Today we are going to download some climate data for free. So we'll get precipitation, um, you can get min and max temperature, solar radiation, things like that. Really useful and fun data to work with. Uh, we're going to download it from a place from the Daymet data set. So I'm just going to search for it here. We'll do Daymet data download. You're going to come to this site, this daymet.ornl ornl.gov um, you can click get data here or you can click daymet we'll click on daymet and then we'll go to get data from there so this is going to give you the information about it you can have direct downloads and such um, we'll click on get data up here and we can do a direct download that is what we want and so let's just try this threads data server all right so now we have some options to choose from. So you can see we have daily weather. So this is for every day um, of the year. And this goes from 1980 through 2018 right now. Um, and so once again, you have the daily surface weather data. Uh, those are tiles. We don't want the whole thing. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get monthly climate summaries. Okay. Um, it's going to be a smaller data product, I think. So we'll get the monthly data, click on that, and now here's where we got to interpret some file names. So I've been through this and I can explain it for you. So we have Daymet version 3, so PRCP is precipitation. This is the monthly time step, M-O-N-T-T-L. Here's the year, 1980, and then HI stands for Hawaii. NA is North America, so continental North America, and PR is Puerto Rico. Okay, so we have these four different files. We're going to want to get to North America. So let's go ahead uh, and we'll just download the 1980. We're just going to click on it. Um, it's going to take me here. And here are the links we can use to download the data. Um, so you'll notice it's going to be an NC4, so a NetCDF4 file. If you haven't worked with NetCDF, basically it's a raster. We're going to download it, then I'm going to show you how you can um, open it in QGIS. I'm just going to click this top link here. Actually, that has some extra parameters. Let's just try the HTTPS server, and that should just download the whole file for us. There we go. I'm just going to put this in my downloads folder for now. We'll click save. And this is about half a gig, so it's going to take a little while. I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's downloaded. All right, guys, my file finished downloading. Took about five minutes. Now let's jump to QGIS, and I'll show you just how easy it is to add the daymet data in. I'm going to go to my browser and click on home, and that will take me to my downloads folder, which is right here. And where is it? It's not there right now. Let's refresh. All right, give me just a second. I'll try and find this. Okay, it should be right here. Let's refresh one more time. Still not showing up. Okay, well, let's just try and add this thing manually. Let's go to click on the data source manager, this button here, and add a raster. We can browse. I'm going to go to my downloads. There's my NC4. Open that up and click add. Might take a minute. It's a pretty big file. You can see it's working on it down here. Did it add? There it is. So it got added. Let's go to our layers and we'll zoom in on this thing. We're running pretty slow. It's a big file, like I said. Let's let it get zoomed in. Shrink this thing down. Alright. 
Okay, there we go. Maybe I shouldn't move it. There it goes. Anyway, you get the idea. You can see that's a netcdf file. Um, you can see the coloration uh -huh, actually looks really cool. And that's because it's showing the composite of these 12 different bands. You have one band for each month. So if we drag this out, you can see we have the values for January through December. I um, mean, this is precipitation, so this is going to be probably in millimeters. Um, but you can see how cool that looks. If we want to change the symbology to just show one band, we can come into our layer settings here. Double click on it, might take a second to open. Um, symbology, you can see it has multi band color. And we have red, green, and blue. We can change this to single band pseudo color, um, change that to band one. Um, we might want to reverse this so the small values are yellow and we can click OK. We'll give it just a minute um, and now we're going to show it based just on that first band there. You can see we get a lot of precipitation up here in the Sierras and the Cascades. Anyway, that's how you can download the Daymet data. Really useful data set if you're trying to do anything with climate. Um, hopefully this makes sense. It's also really great you can add those NetCDF files directly uh, into QGIS. There were certain versions of ArcMap where you couldn't do that. So anyway, cool and fun data to work with. If you have questions, let me know. Um, go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Open Source Options, and check out the community post poll about future content on the community page of the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.